Hi guys, welcome to Assignment Expert. Now look at the task we prepared for you for today. We have a uniform plank AB which is 30 meters long and weighs 100 newtons. This plank is pivoted at points P and Q and they are 5 meters away from each end of the plank. Also we have a buoy which is 1 meter away from point Q at point D and the weight of the buoy is 250 newtons. This whole setup is in equilibrium. Our task is to find R1 and R2, which are the reaction forces at points P and Q. So let's begin. To find the reaction force R1, we need to consider the sum of moments of forces around point Q. So we have the sum of moments at point Q. And since our setup is in equilibrium, this sum is equal to zero. Now let's take the clockwise direction as a positive direction. What do we have? We have R1, which is away from point Q, and this distance is LPQ. Then we have negative sign because the counterclockwise direction of the weight of the plank. So we have WP times the distance to point Q, and this is LCQ. And finally, with a plus sign, we have a boy, which is have weight WB and the distance here is LQD and all of this is equal to zero. Now from this equation we can find R1. R1 equals WP times LCQ minus WB times LQD over LPQ. Now what are these values? We have the weight of the plank, which is 100, and we multiply it by LCQ. CQ is 10 meters. Then we have minus weight of the buoy, 250 newtons, times the distance from point Q, and this is 1 meter. And all of this is divided by LPQ, and PQ is 20. And we get 37.5 newtons. So here is the reaction force R1 at point P. All right, guys. So we've just found the reaction force R1 at point P. Now let's find the reaction force R2 at point Q in a similar fashion. For that, we will consider the sum of moments of forces around point P. So, this sum for moments at point P equals zero. And this is because our setup is in equilibrium. Now, let's take the clockwise direction as a positive direction. We have the weight of the plank, and the distance to it from point P is PC. So, we multiply it by LPC. Then we have the weight of the boy and the distance to point P is LPD. These two moments are with the positive sign because they are in the clockwise direction. Now that we have R2 and the direction of this force is counterclockwise. So we have minus R2 times the distance LPQ and this equals zero. Now let's derive R2 from this equation. R2 equals WP times LPC plus WB times LPD divided by LPQ. And this gives us 100 times PC, which is 10, plus 250. And we have the distance LPD, which is 10 plus 10 plus 1. So we multiply by 21. And we divide it by LPQ, which is 10 plus 10, and gives us 20. So the result is... 312.5 newtons. That's it. We found R1 
and R2. Thanks for watching. See you next time.